Hi, y'all. I look a mess tonight. I wasn't planning on going live, but then I decided, well, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So no makeup except for I put a little lippy lip on. Oh, I've been running errands with Mark all afternoon, and then we had a birthday party for our granddaughter that turned four, or actually she turns four tomorrow. So anyway, but I've been letting Stephanie Hutchison's live rent-free in my brain off and on all day. And I think that I have finally figured out her next target slash blog. <laughs> and I thought I would just share my thoughts about it with you. So we'll get started in just a minute. Okay, so if any of you come in on the live stream, then I'll get to you, I promise. And if not, I'll catch you guys all on the replay. So what I was thinking was, I would start out, well, first of all, let me just say, this is But First Coffee with Susie Oberholtz, and I am Susie Oberholtz, and I'd like to welcome you all to my channel. And if you just do me a favor and hit the like button and the notification, then go ahead and subscribe. That would be great. Apparently, the algorithm really likes it, and my granddaughters get a big kick out of seeing how many subscribers I have every day. So if you just do that, that would be great. I see a couple of you have come in. I promise I won't ignore you. I won't ignore you. <laughs> oh, wow. From Cuba. Wow. Hey, Pup Groomer. Good to see you. This one's going to be shorter, y'all. I promise it's not going to be a replay of last night. I just have one little subject to talk about, basically. Okay. <clears throat> I kept wondering who Stephanie's next blog was going to be about. You know, who was she going to attack next? You know, was it going to be more second gens or was she going to move on to the never ends or Ronald McDonald? I mean, I, I don't know, y'all. But then it hit me. I thought she's not going to attack anybody. I think I got this figured out. Hey, Carrie Ann. Now hear me out a minute. We know she's going to attack Aaron Smith-Levin. She can't not do it. Her little, you know, butt hurt that she's got about him not sharing her little feely feels from what it looks like. Because it really looks like a crush to me. Like, you know, like a little schoolgirl crush. How, or like when a boy liked you in elementary school and he'd hit you. That's what it reminds me of. And we know because of that, she can't not attack him. So what was she going to do? Who would be next? So I kept replaying her blog in my mind. And then I thought, she's, she's not going to attack somebody. She said, and all y'all might have figured this out already, but, you know, be patient with me. I'm old and slow. But she said that she owed Juliana or Juliana a public apology but she didn't give her one i mean she mentioned her she said she that she owed her an apology but did anybody see her do that i didn't read it maybe i missed it but if so i missed it three times y'all remember who juliana is right she's the woman that aaron smith levin admitted publicly that to having a fling with in L.A. while he was there for part of the Danny Masterson trial. The woman who said she would never call the police. Well, maybe it was that the police didn't believe her. I don't know. She changes her story so much I really can't keep up. But she did say that she would never call the police. All she wanted was for Aaron to be off of the board. Which was really weird to me. But... The whole thing is weird, and it's just got weirder since then. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm rambling on. I have notes so that I won't do that, and then I still do it. <clears throat> so I think Stephanie will write a blog apologizing to Juliana for what? I have no idea, because I don't know what she said. I See, she blocked me on Twitter or X or whatever it is, you know, so 
I can't go back and look on there. And I didn't see it on her blogs, but I, I haven't found where, where she, you know, did anything or said anything that she would owe Juliana an apology for. But she said it in her blog that she owed her an apology, and it, but, but she didn't do it. So I think that's what she's going to do. I think that her next blog will be her apologizing to Juliana. But then you know what that means. But because she's talking about Juliana, that will give her like a, a ready-made excuse to trash Aaron. And we know she can't not do that. We know she has to. So, you know, of course, now that I've said this out loud, I just want y'all to know that uh, if she does it, I want a little bit of, you know, a little bit of credit there for having figured her out. And, you know, if she has no idea who I am, that's maybe what she'll do. But if she does know who I am and she doesn't write it, I want credit for that too. So y'all, I want some credit regardless. <laughs> oh. I mean, will I actually have anything to do with whether she writes an apology blog to Juliana or not? Probably not. But I think that this video is evidence-based evidence that I may very well be one of the two best fact checkers on earth the entire earth y'all i mean i thought it i thought it again i even thought it again because you know i do things three times and then i wrote it down and then i read it back to myself and now i'm reading it out loud to all of you so it's now a fact, right? I mean, if you repeat anything enough, it's a fact, right? But y'all tell me in the chat, or if it's later on in the comments, y'all tell me what you think. Do you think that I'm just brilliant and figured this out? No, I'm not. But that's what I think. I really do think that. And I'm just inter interested to see what you all think. So put in the comments over here what you think. Do you think that might be what she's going to do? Or who do you think is going to be her next target? Because I think that Aaron will always be the target. I think that she could be talking about, you know, the price of tea in China. And somehow Aaron would have some responsibility for whether it was high or low. So that's just my thought. So I'm going to check the chat. And I just want to see what you think. And yes, this is just kind of a silly one, but I'm serious too. I mean, I'm being silly, but I'm also being serious. So, I don't know. So, we have a viewer from Cuba. So cool. Hey, hey, Pup Groomer 20. Hey, Carrie Ann. Susan P. Kim White says hello. <laughs> Jay Far, I'm sorry, I'm blind as a bat tonight. It's worse than I'm like really about to break my neck doing this tonight. Jay Far says, My first live and comment looking good, Susie. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you to say because I'm serious. This is like I didn't wash my hair this morning. I didn't put any, I did put some lipstick on because I just looked like one color. I did have on clear glasses, like the frames were clear. And I thought, oh, come on now. I do have my uh, Hello Kitty shirt on. I wore it for the birthday party. It was a big hit. <clears throat> Susan P says, yes. Hey, Carrie Ann's talking to Susan. Oh, you you think she knows who I am? Well, she might because she blocked me on X. And then today I was looking for a picture of her to um, make a thumbnail. And when I Googled her name, 
my article from last night came up. <laughs> I want you to know that one got me almost 200 subscribers in 24 hours, y'all. I'm blown away. I, I mean, it's got like over 3,000 views. I'm, I'm just like, oh my gosh. <clears throat> I didn't think it was going to cause quite that stir. That's a big stir for me. So... Aaron Moore, SPTV board members, and me. Yeah. I, if she figures out who I am for sure, I mean, I think she'll come after me. I was, my husband and I were talking about that today. And, you know, I said, I really don't care. I mean, there was a couple people in the chat that I saw today that were kind of rude to a couple of, of you all. Okay, they were, I think the ones that they were rude to was Dylan and Liz. And I did delete those comments, but probably if they'd been rude to me, I'd have probably left them unless it was just nasty or something. But I don't care. I might delete them. I don't know. But so if she's like as, you know, world famous as she is and everything, if she actually blogs about me, does that make me even more world famous? <laughs> I mean, I'm already one of the top two facty fact checkers, you know. <laughs> So, uh, yes, now this one makes sense. How can anyone know what a little girl person will do next? This is true. She may not even know, but we probably have two weeks to find out because it seems like they roll those out about every two weeks. So maybe a little less. Depends on how fired up she gets. <laughs> I get credit for giving it so much thought. <laughs> Thanks. I was just like sitting there leaning up against the window like this in the truck on the way to town today with my husband. We went and bought some garden plants and some more berry bushes. He's He loves raspberries and blackberries and blueberries. And and uh, my dad, gotta love him. He um, He's real old school, y'all. And we try to use stuff that's not quite so toxic and everything but my dad went and sprayed a bunch of weeds and everything and he sprayed along Mark's the back fence line of our property where Mark had all these berry bushes planted and they weren't real big yet I mean you know they start out small I mean they were I don't know a foot or two tall but my dad sprayed the whole fence line so we are <laughs> once again planting berries but I did give it a lot of thought whenever we were traveling back and forth between town, picking up more berries and tomato plants and jalapeno plants that the peppers aren't hot. I know Johnny Scoville would be just like thinking that I'm horrible, wouldn't he? Because I mean, he wants those millions of, you know, whatever that Scoville points or whatever it is, you know, and I want zero. <laughs> I don't want it. You know, I don't want any heat. I like a little sometimes, but I like to make my salsa and stuff without heat. And then I can always add heat to it. You know, I, I start out with a base that's not hot. And then when I'm canning, you know, I start with that. And then I add this much heat to this one and this much heat to that one. And anyway, she knows who you are. You are a legit reporter compared to her wannabe. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I am. I mean, I am. It's still weird to think of that, but yeah, I have several years behind me as a reporter. Hi, Susie. Just dropped in. I'm making a late dinner. I'll have to catch up on the replay. Love you. Love you too, Denise. It's good to see you. Make some good dinner. We ordered pizza. My granddaughters and daughter, they like to have Saturday pizza day, only she normally makes the pizza herself but they're staying out with my dad for a while and um, kind of taking care of my dad I mean, he's he's doing fine but they're just kind of taking care of him and everything and and um his oven quit working <laughs> so she couldn't make homemade pizza you know, she's she's awesome at all she makes bread and homemade pizza dough and i mean just she's awesome she really is and and uh i'm looking forward to I'm hoping that this summer I feel better and can can again. I didn't can last year and it about killed me. 
is I make my own spaghetti sauce and my own salsa and my own barbecue sauce. I make several different kinds of barbecue sauce from just a regular, you know, just plain, you know, barbecue sauce all the way to like a super hot one. And I also make the, uh, the South Carolina barbecue sauce, the one that's kind of an orangey color, a mustard base instead of a tomato base. So I, that's the one I like the most, but anyway, I caught a live huge fan, Susie. Oh, thank you. You guys don't know how happy it makes me every time I come on and you're in here or you come in on the, on the replay and, and watch it later. It just, I don't know. It feels like I'm connecting with friends, especially in the chat. And I thought that the chat would be what makes me really, really nervous. But do you know that, I mean, I don't like to speak publicly. I'm more of a written word person. <clears throat> Susan P loves canning. I do too. But that's about what I do is the, I do make jams. I make jams. Um, but um, anyway, I, I prefer to write. That's why I take so many notes. And I do fall back on my notes a little bit because I still really get a little chemo brain and, or, you know, brain fog from it. And um, I just, I can be going to say something and it's just gone. I mean, I've told people before that, you know, one day I woke up and I really didn't know if my name was Susie. It just didn't sound right. And I was alone. My husband had gone to work and I spent several hours just like looking around. Like, you know, I looked at my driver's license and I was just like, this, I know it is, but it doesn't feel right. So, and then I was like, okay, I guess it is. The next day I was fine, you know, <laughs> but it's, it's a chemo thing. And then I got my chemo drugs. They, the pharmacist brought them out um, Thursday. I start those next month, but they want me to have them in advance so that, if um, if my doctor decided to have me start them earlier, then you know she could call and I'd already have them. So, oh boy, here we go again, right? I just almost get to where I kind of feel like I can talk without like completely messing up and more chemo. But I think I'll be okay. I think that that it'll probably just stay like it is as far as me losing my you know brain. <laughs> my train of thought, but, um, I might be tired a lot. So anyway, but I'm not going to stay on here tonight. I know there's other people live and I want to go see what's going on in Florida. I can't, I'm just so jealous. I want to be there with them. If any of you all have any idea who you think she, well, I saw the one, you know, but, but, uh, you think I might be right. Or you think somebody else that she might come after, we should do a little poll. So give it some thought and maybe I'll do a poll in the next couple of days. Yes. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> I mean, y'all, I have over 700 subscribers. I am blown away. There is no way. Like I thought that, well, I really was just like, if I get a hundred people, I'm going to be thrilled. I mean, that's just the truth. And I got a hundred and I thought there's no way I'll get to 500. No way. And, uh, I did. It took me a while. It's slow, but I'd rather stay small and get to know you guys than, than just grow, you know, so fast that I can't kind of get to know the ones that, that chat. And then, you know, maybe some of the lurkers will come out and, and chat with us too and, and everything. But now there was no way. I mean, like, no way that I ever thought that I could ever, ever, ever get to a thousand. I, I, I said, I'll never get monetized, which I could right now I can do, um, super chats and stuff and I can do membership and I'm going to get with Marilyn, I think, and we might go ahead and set up that stuff, but you don't have to join. I'm not going to do like probably nothing that's members only. I'll have some cute little emojis. I mean, I might do some little something every once in a while. That's, you know, like a member's, but I doubt it. I mean, honestly, I, I, it's not about the money to me, but if it helps me pay for my stream yard, that'd be nice. <laughs> you know, even half of it would be great. But, uh, anyway, so I'm going to set that stuff up, but I never thought I would get to a thousand. And now, I mean, it's, it looks like it 
could happen. I mean, it could be a while, but you know, the next thing I'll be looking to do is get my view, those few hours or whatever up. See, I just don't know all this stuff. I'm just, I'm just a grandma. <laughs> You and Tori Magoo would have an interesting conversation with your forgetfulness. I know, right? Every time I watch her, I think, oh, sweetheart, <laughs> we are the same. Don't you just love her? She is awesome. I know how you feel, Susie. I'm astonished that I've gotten as far as I have. Isn't it amazing? I am astonished is a good word. I am completely astonished that I have gotten to where I am. And and honestly, if it doesn't go any further, I'm fine. But hey, if it if it would just get to a thousand, I would be like insanely happy. <laughs> and my husband would be too, because then I could get some monetization, you know, get a few ad dollars and ugh, I don't know. That all just sounds like pie in the sky kind of thing to me. <laughs> But anyway, I am still planning to do a like get to know you kind of deal where you can get to know me. You can ask me anything you want and I'm going to ask you all questions and I'm going to take notes because I won't remember. So like I kind of want to know like like some of you have names that aren't your your real name or whatever. And I kind of want to know those names and I want to know like are you married? Are you you know, do you have kids? Do you have grandkids? Do you you know, I don't know. What do you do? What do you like to do? What's your hobbies? I want to get to know you. That's friends, right? I want to be friends. And uh, that's that's why I do this is because I wanted to make friends. And um, I saw Reese do it and I thought I want to do that on a small scale. So that's what I'm re reaching for is friends. And uh, I see so many of you at every live and it just tickles me. It really does. So, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go and I will probably be on tomorrow. I'm going to try to do the get to know you kind of thing tomorrow, but I am, I'm going to check and see who's got what coming up. And if there's just a ton of great stuff that I know y'all want to see, then I might wait till the next day, you know, and, and uh, just see what goes on. Cause I know that it's so hard. Cause I mean, I want to see it too. I haven't seen it. I haven't watched anything all day so i've got so much to catch on catch up on tonight so anyway we've been gone all day long between running errands and my husband putting in part of the garden and me getting the stuff ready for the birthday party and uh, anyway so i will see you guys tomorrow i love you all and oh there's a couple more did I miss it? I was on the lifeboat. Yeah, Dawn, but it's short. Just run back and watch it on the replay. From North Georgia, everyone. Hi, Miss Sunrise Dawn. I just, you guys, I just love you. It's a silly little one about Stephanie. I think I've come up with who I think that her next target, I mean, you know, vlog's going to be about. So um, anyway, go back and watch it on the replay, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you all. Bye.